You gonna comment about my spare tan or no? Wow, you're tan. <laughs> Look, um, will you do me a favor? Will you just film yourself opening that? I think Daisy's food in there is in there. What are these? I think it's the food. Open it. Yeah, it's your food with a mouse on top. Okay, that was that with the toy. Yeah, I'll go contribute to your cat being fat. Thank you. Daisy! Where are we heading today? Um, uh, Colorado. Took you a while to... I forgot. I would say this is probably like the worst time I've been. I would say I've never... This is the worst I'd say that it's gotten. With like not caring about this. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. I look. I don't even look the same. No. I don't really care. You no, know what? Nothing phases me. I would say. Nothing phases me. Where's my face wash? I had it over there, right? I don't know. I'll let you continue to pack. Thank you. Alright, well, we have like an hour or so to make our flight, so. I just pray for the best, and this is like the first meal of the day, so yeah, we're just you know winging it, and uh, I just don't care right now. I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> well, we made it, and then I had to go through all of our bags because that's just the way that it is. So we're here. Today was a very hard day for me. Obviously, I still have my spray tan on. That isn't very apparent at this point. And you know, I'd say this is just a lot right now. So, I think that, um, I think that this lifestyle for people, I think, from the outside in, kind of just is always like happy and you know but I'd say I face a lot of I don't want to say like issues but I, I have a lot of like resistance all the time and like it just seems like every time I try to you know do this or do that it's very hard to I'd say always keep it together where I don't know this is just all a lot and uh, I only wish that they taught in high school how to uh, Uh, I just wish in high school you actually learned how to deal with life, not just going to English class and art class, because that's not what life's about. But yeah, this is, uh, we're going to Colorado and I should be happy, but I'm not. So I'm not gonna just fake it right now, because I'm not, so. Greens, buy it and they shall come. Fine. <laughs> this is the best costume I've seen all day. Oh. Give me a kiss. Mwah. I finally I'll made it. Mm. <laughs> nice to see you. Come on for the tour of the house. It's been a long day. Yes, it's been I'm a long sure. Day. All right. Here we have the master suite that I've been sleeping in because this house is so big. Wait, you slept here? Creeped me out. I slept on the couch because this house is so big. It <laughs> creeped me <laughs> out. It's so extra long. Um, so, Lucas, oh, there's yeah. an office right here for you to edit. And there's one downstairs too. Okay. That bed folds out into a queen, but you. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm just showing oh, okay. him. No, we're just showing a little right, preview. Showing. I can't light the fireplace because the pilot is out and I don't know how to do it. All right. But we have a living room. We have dimmy lights. We can make it romantic. We can make it bright. We can do nothing. We can just do that. We have a bathroom here that I'm taking over. So I have <laughs> that room and that room. This is Miranda's queen suite. Where's my bed? Oh, she took it over. Com to complete with gifts. Okay, Miranda, look at gifts. this. Gifts. You, you arrive here gifts. with gifts. More gifts. Cards. You got a candle. Books. A calming candle for you tonight. You need that. Just to set your mood. And we have a mouth guard for you since you forgot yours. Oh, what, what about... Um, and what about, we have okay. whitening strips. Oh. And we have... Perfume. And a hat. And a hat. Wow. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, and wait, wait, wait. I have to give the tour. Wait, wait, wait. Don't sorry, go ahead sorry, of me. sorry. You're ahead of me. This bathroom is your bathroom, Miranda. Oh, this is my bathroom? Okay. And this is a special bathroom because it has a heated floor. You can make the floor nice and warm on your footsies. Oh, that's nice. And PDs. Look at that. You get a heated floor. Don't I look good, Mom, today? Yeah, you look like you're um, changing color. <laughs> <laughs> she is changing color. <laughs> you look colorful. I love your hair. Do you I actually? Do. No, your hair looks great. I do. Thank you. Okay, so great. come on this way. So also, I would say now. side note, you guys. She came here two days ago. I'm not sure to do what, but she also has toured. Oh, she's toured the state, I think. And she refuses. <laughs> she refuses to go, uh, go through Uber, so she just manipulates people to drive her around and goes in the really? mountains and then says, hey, I gotta go some other places and can you just drive me? And then she just makes people do it. I almost manipulated people today to drive <laughs> me to Walgreens, See? but I decided to walk. Oh, I nice. walked to oh, Walgreens yeah, and I walked to the restaurant today. So we have a record player. We can play records. I'm sure you've never seen a record before. Well, I've in actually life. never seen a record player. She's never seen a record player before in her life. And I picked out a special album for you. Is there a Frank Sinatra album? Wait. Um, well, there's one of somebody she likes. Bob Marley's good. We can play. Oh, fucking itch. Oh, that's a good album. We can play Zac Efron in. Um, no, that's Zendaya. a great, that's a great album. Yeah. Okay. So we can well, play that. We put that on because we have guests coming. We do? Yeah, we have friends. Tonight? Yeah, yeah, we have friends coming. Really? Alexa, okay. Alexa, Alexa from, and Stan. Alexa okay, and Stan so, all right, we'll come on. So um, now we have the guest stove. Oh, look, they have all the things here. Mom, are you are you prepared to like cook like like food? Yeah, food? she already said that. She told me already. Um, and here we have outside, we have, have for this. we have little gondola lights and we have a grill outside. What is this? This is my room. <laughs> And then outside. This is, <laughs> this, is, this, is this is Lucas's right. suite here. So see what they do is they throw me in the basement so I'm away from them. No, Lucas, we gave you the biggest suite. You don't have to put up with women. Oh, I just get the creepy basement. <laughs> so, so you can choose between this bed, yeah. this bed. Oh. This is the laundry room. I had this bed when I was like seven years old. <laughs> and. If you're bored tonight, you can play with all these toys. We have an abacus. How do you even use uh -oh. an abacus? An abacus. To count, an abacus. So they, they have, I had one of those. That's how they teach little kids to And we more. have a private couch. This couch reminded me of the one that you had at home. Yeah, he still has it. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda, well, what, what about my couch do you love? It's cum stains on it. Oh, you Wait, you know what the gas station is called here? It's called... Come and go. Really? K U M and go. So I texted it to the girls at work today and I go, I can make you laugh. So they go, okay. And I go, they have weird gas stations here. I can't believe they named it this. And they were dying at work. Come and go. K. Yeah, that wasn't a good, that was not smart on whoever the owner so, is. So then you have a little bit of, um, you can do your thing over here. So that was Western Michigan. I thought that was too. I it's not. It's not. Okay, let's the go. The password for, um. Let me duck my head. Yeah, fuck. Oh, man, you're the, you're the love too. Oh, I get a present. Yeah, Breckenridge. There we go. You like it? I do. I really do. Larry didn't get anything. <laughs> Sorry, Larry. <laughs> I texted him pictures and stuff and he didn't like anything, so he didn't get anything. Oh. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. This is the house tour? No. Yeah. Oh, there's okay. a bathroom. And then Lucas gets his own bathroom. That's he can poop in private. That's really nice. <laughs> it's honestly very nice. We won't hear him at all. Yeah. You won't smell it either. That's <laughs> <laughs> not that funny. It is. Yeah. I'm just like, don't, don't ask Lucas about his theories about the world or Black Rock. Yeah, or, she could ask me later. Don't ask is the about, world round or flat, Lucas? It's round. It's not flat. Also, don't ask him about um, Black Rock. Pyramids. Don't ask him about the Great Depression. The pyramids. The pyramids. Don't ask him who he thinks carried the pyramids to make them the pyramids. Or whatever the hell they do. Oh. The Are you just going to embarrass me right now? He's, so Have you had these in-depth conversations no, with him? Oh, yeah, all wait, the time. Wait, 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 she, wait. she actually records me wait, when me I'm out. having them, and out. I don't wait, know I'm getting recorded. Wait, here. Mom, you're going you're gonna to die. Hold on. One second. Are we really showing this? Yeah, we're showing this. It's hilarious. Here's an, oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three people that the day of said not to go on the boat were the owners of the Worldwide Bank or something. Dom. The boat that they own sank that day. That's later that year, it became one universal bank and they became the most powerful people in the world. 
basically they sunk the ship on purpose. Let's talk about the Titanic. All the people in the world so they could take over as well. You were talking about the Titanic? You There's know where I so went. Yes, not, not in focus, yeah, please. Well, I did not know that. BlackRock, thank you. They knew it was going to come to me. Oh. The people that own BlackRock, which is the, uh, which is the wealthiest. Morgan Probably going to get flag now for saying BlackRock on YouTube. Oh, then then <laughs> tell me why Miranda we invested her money in BlackRock with your brother. Mom, you were on YouTube. You can't say this. Oh, I don't care. I can talk that out. I mean, BlackRock's much investing. It's like the wealthy. Black was on. On, 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 on. And then there's another one. I went to Molly Brown's. Seven or eight, and the annual rent is 3000 Well, I was talking about how we're in a Great Depression. Ten times the amount you make for rent. Right. So now it's like two times. Yeah, that's true. You can learn a lot from Lucas this weekend. Everything's increased, so in fluctuation. So literally, they're saying... You know what I mean? All right, you guys. I had a surprise visit from... Um, these wonderful individuals. <laughs> I have no idea where the cups are. Oh, you found one. Okay, that's good. <laughs> he, he helped himself. Yeah, well, the I didn't know if he was like gonna just like put his his hands under the ice or whatever. He's been helping himself with a can <laughs> on the table too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No, I've had like probably like one of the worst days in a while. I like, kind of obviously you probably already watched that at this point. Miranda, um, look how what? slow this water comes down. Is it like a little thin thing? Like, yeah. He's gotta go thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I wanted to, because we were like actually in the middle of our conversation, and I just was like, yeah, I wanted, I wanted to say something. Um, I would say like right now in my life, I'm not a good friend, and I'm not, I'm not very social. Um, I would say I'm actually probably run down so much that I try to avoid using my phone at all costs. I disagree with that though. No, nah, but I would say she's been very patient with me and has been uh, so supportive and has not, I would say, held a grudge over the fact that my communication is not great. Um, like I would say, honestly, my, my friends have to reach out to Lucas to be like, Hey, um, so, uh, what's going on? Um, what's, what are we doing? And is like, you know, that's, I would say that's the, the level of, um, overwhelmingness I would say I face is like, I, I, I can't even, I'd say sometimes figure out what the fuck I'm doing yet. I'm doing so much. And, um, I don't even know sometimes what day it is. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know when it turned to be like this, but it is like this right now. And, um, you know, like we were just honestly having a conversation off camera about how it is important to kind of balance this out. And I'm not in that phase of life right now where I can do that because I, my goals are a lot. And honestly, they're, I think they're, they're all, they're a lot for me sometimes to be honest, like what I actually, you know, plan on doing in life. And, um, I just wanted to, you know, honestly say that she has been, a great person in my life and we have great conversations and um i think her and i have actually been very judged in this fitness space i think that um you know everyone i think creates this whole this whole entire narrative i think for for what they think you know it, somebody is or um this person was friends with this person and, and she's this and you know it, it's like the the narratives get really um i think misconstrued mm -hmm. yeah and so uh you know like her and i were not i would say very close in the beginning but to be honest with you i wasn't really close with anybody i didn't really know shit about shit i mean i met you like what 2019 at the arnold and like life was very different back for the then. first time yeah for the too. first time yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I guess my more so my point is, is like, you know, you, you can't judge a book by its cover and, you know, people might see her and they might go, oh, wow. Like, you know, she's really pretty. She probably is like not really nice, but to be honest with you, she's probably one of the kindest people that I know. And I just want to say too, I think people who get it, who, yeah. what she's going through right now, those are the friends that you want to keep around. Yeah. And like, I can't even say Miranda has been a bad friend, which I wouldn't no, even I just, say. That I'm not, no, but I'm not the best friend that I could be and I could be better, but like but I drive myself crazy. So. It's the people who get it. Those yeah. are the ones that are worth keeping around. Like yeah. there are friends who I don't need to talk to every day. I don't need to talk to every week, every yeah. month. That one time we faced them for how long? What was that? It was like eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a month ago. And Lucas was like waiting, like literally he passed out in the parking lot. And I was just like, oh, I'm here now. Like six hours, I think that was. But it's like, I, I don't need to talk to you yeah. every day. Yeah. Because right. I know I know what you're up to. I know your goals. I mean, I'm posting my story every hour of the day. It seems like and the thing is, whether we talk Ooh. every month, every six months, every year, yeah. I still have the same intentions yeah. for you. Like, yeah. I want you to win. And I'm excited yeah. And I want to see you win, too. And I don't need to, that's the thing. I, I think that's what adult relationships are supposed to be. Whereas yeah. I think the more amateur high school, even college relationships, it's like yeah. you need to go out every weekend or talk every day and always yeah. have those relationships. But there's so much going on. You don't need to be pulled down yeah. by the people who are so high maintenance, <laughs> <laughs> who completely drain you. Yeah. It's like, I could talk yes. to you next year and I know that you're still winning and you should know that I'm still cheering for you. It's, it's like, so hey, hard. how are you doing? I don't know about me either. <laughs> I don't know. It's going south. Let's hope I make it. You know what I mean? I mean, 
but but it's no excuse. Like I know if I were to pull back in terms of friendship, like you would get it, and same thing. One thousand percent. Yeah. So it's like I I don't it doesn't I, think, I don't take it personally. Yeah, I think maturity in, in friendships for me now is kind of weird because I think I've I've gone through so many friends and people. Um, I actually like it's it's actually crazy. Like I would say, there's been such a mind shift in my mind. I would say like when I have to cut people off. Um, there's no arguing anymore. There's no explaining myself. Um, it doesn't matter how many times, uh, if someone was to call me and, and reiterate and ask and do, I, I really just don't, I remove myself instantly. And I think the, the hardest part for me is more so, um, I think actually my lack of feeling, to be honest with you, like when I do lose people, um, it used to be so intense, right? Like I used to be like more of like anxious attachment style, I would say probably like attached to everything and everybody all the time. And I kind of just got, I've been screwed over so many times where it's like, I'm not a victim. You know, I'm not going to go on a tangent about how, you know, uh, I'm perfect and everybody else sucks. Um, I have also made a lot of mistakes uh, in terms of, you know, my relationships with people and friends me and too. relationships. I mean, I, it's either my ex-boyfriends love me or they hate me. It's that's that's the only like I would say the only route. Um, I think people love to hate me um, or they hate to love me. That's like I think my, my, my thing. There, but I think but, just as you grow older, it's like people like for both of us mm -hmm. we've been on social media for so long like almost a fucking people, decade almost a decade almost 10 years like and i'm people, about to start having gray hair <laughs> shit and i don't even have I a relationship even looked. <laughs> people think that they know every aspect of the friendships that you have and the the people that you encounter yeah but at the end of the day there's a disconnect between who you deserve to keep around yeah and versus actually who people want to keep around for their own personal gain yeah does that make sense sure. so <laughs> somebody like miranda right she picks and chooses who she wants to be around as, as i do myself it's like there's only certain people who are worth the time and the energy to keep around whereas mm -hmm. you know other people are just going to use you <laughs> yeah. for x y or z and there's just a point where you hit where you've gotten fucked over so many times. You start not giving I can't a fuck. do this anymore. Like you just like you right. stop giving. I'm a fuck, so numb to this. Yeah. I'm so now <laughs> selective of who I choose to and not keep around and yeah. who I choose to have those relationships with. Yeah. I can't deal with any more hurt from these fucking people. Oh well, yeah. But in the same sense, I have my own. Like you have to be selfish with what you want. Yeah. But also too, you in, know? in that point being said too, is like then this week I would say we can go on and on about this, but I would say forever. Um, <laughs> I would say one thing too is is like you know it's actually hard. I would say in in business, I would say to kind of find your own people because you know your perception and uh, opinion on someone in the beginning is may is maybe not true. Um, it's whatever know, they want you to think. Well, is throughout the entire experience, it might not be that way, and then people change up constantly, and then you know you don't really know like who someone is until you know until you like you have that moment of like I know who this person is now. And it's more so just for me where, you know, uh, you can be around people that are, I would say, successful and hardworking and have all this stuff, you know, but I would say the energy matters, you know, like the energy investment matters. And um, the, the I would say the hard part for me is it's kind of like finding my own, I would say, groups of people or like people that are for me, um, you know, that ge genuinely want to see me win. And I'm not saying like, you know, they say that, you know, like with their words, but it's more so like, you know, if you help me win you know, you're going to win more in the payout because, you know, let's say the more people that ask me, you know, to do this and, and, and do this and, and, and nickel and diming me, the, the more people that do that to me, they're not going to get the payout the same as the people that don't ask me for shit. It's just karma, bro. Like, yeah, I it is. But like, but like, think about that. Like, think about, you know, people trying to get this and this and this and this from you. And I actually want to give more, not to these people, but these people over here. Like I literally, I went to the alterations place. I, it's, in, it's in Tampa and it's the cutest place, you know, um, it's, I'm not going to say that, but it's like, it's a really cute place. And, um, I swear to God, I walked out of there and like, they always like harass me for how tired I look. And it's like a, you know, it's like a, it's like a joke, but it's like my truth now. So I kind of just accept it. <laughs> and, um, you know, he was like, Oh, you know, you look tired today, Miranda. I'm like, yeah, it's the same shit, different day, you know? And, um, he's like, when you need the thing, but ready by, I'm like, Oh, tomorrow. And he's like, tomorrow. You know, he's like, I'm like, yep, this is just came in. I don't know what to tell you. But, um, anyways, it was, it was cute because, uh, I had tipped them because I, I valued the fact that they did have to jump, you know, and I, again, run myself in the ground. I, I can't remember shit. But, um, you know, I walked out of the thing and I said to myself, I would love to write them a check one day. I would love to, to value them because they were so appreciative over nothing. And I was just like, that's the type of mindset sometimes. Like when I, you know, when I'm in and out of situations, I'm like, God, I, I would love to just contribute to their. We just left a, a Mexican overwhelm. restaurant, like yeah. a regular spot. And I yeah. said to him, I was like. He's so cute. Like, just yeah. a little busser. Yeah, yeah. He's been working there for 10 years. Yeah. He works his fucking ass off. And I bet you he doesn't ask for shit, right? No. Yeah. He gets probably minimum wage. If yeah. that, they're yeah. pouring him some shots behind the bar. I was like, I would, I thought to myself, I would love to just pay him thousands of dollars. Yeah. Just, here you go. Yeah. I'd say like just for being a good person. When you're not asked of things, you want to give more. I would say that's, I'm speaking on, that's just kind of how, 
how I, I want to move in life lately is like, I don't, I don't want to be around people that just expect from me. I want to be able to genuinely give because, you know, they, they genuinely, you know, give me that same thing in return. And again, the, the thing about kindness is, is more so everyone thinks they're kind, but I would say, I think your, your true kindness and true character speaks when people take advantage of your kindness and you still choose to be kind. That to me is uh, very telling. And then also when you're kind, you know, you can't throw, you know, in, in your, in people's faces, what you do for them. Right. Cause then that would, that would be like a nice person thing. Nice people throw shit like that in your face of like, Oh, I did this for you. And I did that for you. And I would say when you're kind, it takes a lot of self-control over your emotions and yourself to not react like that and to just still continue to be kind. I mean, you can kind of balance out, okay, you know, am I doing too much over here? I'll back up a little bit, but I would say true kindness speaks when you constantly do something for somebody and you know, you don't ever throw that in their face. Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, and you know, you know the situation yeah. Yeah. I could speak on, it's like, yeah. you have to choose to be the bigger person because All at the, the end of the day, how do you want to be remembered? Yeah. Like, how do you want to, yeah. you know, how I, do you want to leave this earth? At this point, I'm leaving because yeah. I'm going to mentally just fall over. No, I'm just, <laughs> just going to fall um, in the sink. You know, but, and I wanted to make a point too, is like, I, I have found that the more I have grown, that the more people, you know, obviously, and this is kind of just like standard, but you know, I could be like a hundred great things in life and I could have like a hundred, you know, great qualities and people are going to really focus on those three really bad ones. Like my time management. I cannot even tell you how many times, like it's a problem that like I show up between, you know, five minutes late, 10 minutes late. And, and believe me, it's not something that I want to be remembered by. And it, and it does come off rude, but you know, it's like, if, if, if we have to constantly, you know, Nick, uh, criticize Miranda for, you know, she doesn't do this rate. She doesn't do this rate. It's like, well, I probably need a, ten, a team of 10 people minimally. And I have about two right now. So it's like, can we just like, you know, maybe like cut Miranda but some slack. But also whoever's <laughs> picking on you for those things, it's them deflecting their own insecurities. Well, but that's which is, everything I do. So, you know, um, happy. <laughs> what is everybody? Day? What's today? What's today? What's today's It's Halloween. Day? Happy Halloween. It's like, uh, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Almost November and, 1st. Uh, boo. I'm also, I'm good like morning. Oh yeah, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, this is Thank day. you for opening yeah. me. <laughs> Uh, day one. Hey, what about me? Sorry, honey. I'll bring <laughs> you over. Can't forget about mom. Can't forget about mom. Hello. Good Someone morning. But yeah, we're um, doing a photo shoot. Are we going to be in the, in the mountains? No, we're in a chalet. A who? A chalet is like What's a mountain that? house. Okay, so we're going to be there. And uh, we're doing some photos with products. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, um, chalet. I love chalets. Yeah, we're going to... I live in a shoot. five million dollar house and that was like I the barely slept last and night. And you walk out the front door and you take a gondola and you're on the That's school. nothing new. But um yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a good day. We're gonna put positive energy out there. We're having yeah, Mom. the best day ever and we're not gonna be late because yeah. we don't need that extraness. So just be yourself and just be positive. Be Thank yourself. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be yourself. <laughs> Oh my god! You could be like a good character for like a, like a Frozen thing. Yeah, like actually, I could. Ever. I can do voices. Yeah, but like, could you actually like I would say dress up like one or no? Oh, I was um. Elsa. Elsa one year yeah. for Halloween. I can see that. This is where we're shooting today for Bruce's photo shoot. Say hi to Megan. This is CJ. Welcome, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> CC. Hi. Miranda. I'm not sure who I am, but. Yeah, we don't care about you. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Miranda's mom and I am going to take my first sip ever of an energy drink. And I can't wait because it looks good. Mm. It smells like heaven and it tastes like heaven. Oh my God. What's it taste like? It tastes like pink lemonade kind of grapefruit. I, I thought it tastes like a oh non-alcoholic Mike's Hard Lemonade. Oh, one of those. it's better than that. Really? Oh my God. Mmm. This could be my new addiction. Are you ready? Three, two, one. That's a great four right there. That was a it's almost like you do that like every day. This house is beautiful. Did you see show? Yeah, I did. I showed the backyard. Like a little tour? Yeah. Go show how, my, how social my mother is. All right, I'll show that. Oh my God. I 
Hello, kitty. Who's a good cat? I miss mine. She is like the softest cat. Alright, Dan, chill. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Looking down at it, three, two, one. Uh, hang on, sorry. Rotate oh. it just a little bit. You're good. Everything else is good. There we go. Three, two, one. Please don't I love eat the protein. you. You're so pretty. She's so soft. You're so pretty and you're friendly. You know, it takes a lot for cats to be friendly and you do a great job. You do a great job. You walk on all the counters. Yes. And you get house. everything dirty and it's fantastic. I appreciate it. You have no manners or rules <laughs> in life, no boundaries. Do we want to shake her in so, there? It might be too much. No, I think that's too much. I just wanted the tubs. Because this is for my. <laughs> Stay right there. Hold, please. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Yeah. I know it's crazy, right? What we can do on location and not in Chicago. I know. This Wild. This will definitely be proving that. Yeah. A little different than Tampa too, right? Mm. <laughs> Tampa is. It's Tampa looks just like this. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. All the time, I would say. All right, same Ooh. thing. Ray. Holding you, dog. Look at that. I'm gonna stay in the jar. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Everybody, this is Ty. Right Say hi, Ty. Hi, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Megan being a team player. Yeah, yeah I just fake yep. laughing. And so you guys are just looking at or each other. Laugh. Yeah. We're real laughing. Yeah. Having a combo. Talking about Ty's vest or his unibrows or his eyebrows. Or... All right, so we just uh, finished uh, the first day of shooting and. My mother. Um, yeah, today was super fun. Uh, this was like such a beautiful, I'd say, environment to be in. And also, I don't really miss the cold weather, but I would say I do like being here. I don't know if you agree with that, Lucas, but I do kind of miss like. I the, don't agree with that. I don't okay, like well, the cold. I, I sometimes miss like the puffer jacket things. Like I miss like like winter clothes sometimes. Um, but this was like super nice today, and I. And I appreciate opportunities like this because I spent my whole like I would say uh, I've spent my like. Uh, a career or like fitness path just not being able to do this kind of stuff and like not really getting invited to stuff and it's kind of just nice to feel included in things and to kind of like feel important um, for like maybe like a bigger purpose so that makes me feel uh, so really good and uh, I'm excited for the rest of the day I believe I, I want to take a nap nap yes yeah nap and then I think we're gonna gym later and there's a kitty cat I know we already got yeah. kitty cat on film but um, my mom attracts animals, kids, adults, <laughs> and uh, honestly, I'm happy my mom's here, you know, I haven't seen her in a long time, and it's kind of nice to uh, not have to, like, remember everything because my mom's here, you know, it's very nice. I think she's shrunk a little bit, or maybe I'm just getting taller, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, we're excited for the rest of the day, we're going to have some good food, I don't know where we're going to eat, but we're going to have fun, Yes. and uh, yeah, I'm very, I'm very grateful to be here, so thanks. Honestly, when you guys watch, it helps me, so thank you. <laughs> and you want to know what else It bugs me that the floor sinks in right here. Look. Why, why don't you share? This is my stuff. Sharing's caring. No, it's not. <laughs> you take all my stuff. Who just wants a blanket for Christmas? You're just rude. This is Daisy's blanket. I miss her. I miss her. I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, um, what did we film last in here? Do we know you know? I uh, came up with you trying to steal your blankie. Oh, that's right. You <laughs> Sounds like forever ago. Um, all right, so yeah, we took a little nap. It was very tiring. Um, we a didn't... little nap? That was a long nap. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, we were tired. Yeah, we were supposed to actually supposed to go out to dinner, but like, it's just... I think once you... I, I almost feel like once I realize I'm napping, I almost come to the conclusion of like, so everything is not going to get done that I wanted to get done. But like, I needed to sleep. Like, we were tired, right? Like, I was very tired. But, um... Yeah, so my mom leaves tomorrow at like by like one or so. So um, she's actually coming to the gym with us, which is really, really cute. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to the gym right now. It's like 9.30 or so. She'd be in bed. She's been, you know, she would normally have been in bed like three hours ago. She's on that like grandparent time frame. Is she talking about me? Yes. Yeah, sit down, mom. Sit down. Welcome to the show. Yeah, sit down. She um, loved me. No matter what she says, she loved me. <laughs> Absolutely. That's why we share the same bed right now. Share the bed. Yeah. You're my soulmate. Really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. So on, on CoStar, we have the same, uh, we have like the same placements. 
and it's like it's actually very rare that like we're so like aligned. And I would say when I look back to my childhood, I understand why we were so like I did not like an influx all the time. And I think as I got older, it kind of got hard for you, not for me, but for you, because <laughs> you had to understand like oh like Miranda's Maybe somebody just Miranda's like me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Even other me. <laughs> like, like Miranda's witty too, but like different witty. Like I feel like. Yeah. Or, what were we saying in the car again? Yeah, what did you... You guys... I actually... Uh, I recorded it. I recorded you guys bitching about you, how you, I... No, well, you weren't bitching. Oh. It was just like you, you, you come with, like, these comebacks so fast sometimes. I know, it's, it's crazy. Like, how right? do you... Oh, yeah, this is it. Here, I'll show you guys. Me. Okay. Toxic. <laughs> fuck, yell at me. Do something that's not healthy. I want to, like... I need some fucking chaos. I grew up with it, man. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Man, over here is, like, just fucking lawyering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep this forever at all. You videoed it? Yeah, a little oh bit. Oh my god. Yeah, a little bit. Of course you did. I feel like I don't have a response for everything, but. You I... have a response for everything. You do! Oh. Without thinking. I've told you that, but how many times have I told That's you that? That's why I always said you would be a great lawyer because you would be in court and you would nail somebody to the cross where they couldn't argue with you. And that's just what a, what an attorney does in court to get people on or off and convict them or get them unconvicted. You, you know how to use your words You can a just very come well at them and, and it's articulate, oh, you know? I, we've talked about this. I know, it's, but it's different when my mom it's says it. It's a gift. No, it's a yeah. gift. It's a gift because like, we've you. talked about it. You'll be like, cause sometimes her and me will be talking and she'll be like, I wish you would say this. And I'm like, I don't think that fast on my feet like you. <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't look at it like that, but I guess that's, I guess, accurate. You are fast on your feet. I feel like you're the two people that actually know me the best, so maybe that is true. You're hard to argue with. Well, I know that. I know. But I don't, it's not from a place of, like, I think that I'm right. It's more so, like, I will not speak on things unless I'm, like, 100% certain. God, she's me. Because I don't talk about anything unless I'm 100% sure. But I you're, don't. you're just, I would say, the way that you deal with, I would say, like, conflict, I think, is a lot more passive than me. Like, you like to take time to, like, really, like, soak it. I'm not really sure what you're soaking in. But, like, you take a bath in the mess, and I would rather, like, dry off and like, go solve it. And you just bathe in it. Did you just make an analogy? <laughs> See, she did it again. See, <laughs> see what she does? I'm like rushing out of the shower, like, duh, 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 duh. okay, drying up. All right, it's time to go fix that thing because I don't want to deal with it. But like, you just go, oh, okay. Well, let's think about all our options now. Gotta think and about I all just, the angles. I can't do it. Gotta that. think of all the ramifications. You know, I don't see. So she doesn't think of the angles. She just goes, Lucas, what's your opinion on this? Well, uh, I'll, think of, I'll think of different perspectives and then I'll also, like, I would say, ask, I trust your opinion because it's it might be different than mine and I still. I still respect your opinion. You know what I'm oh, saying? I and I, respect and I also sometimes choose the way that you think over mine. Like, it's not just about the I way just I just think, think you know we think very differently. So you take, you yeah. respect my perspective enough to know, yes. like, I'm going to take in your perspective. Yeah. And I'm going to process sure. it. But if I don't agree I with it, it I'm yeah. going to do what I want to do. But I'm going to remember your perspective and whatever I'm about to do. Mm -hmm. Because it's a, something to think about. But I think, too, that that goes with, like, when you have, like, a, a problem in life or, like, what have you. Trusting the person that you're coming to with the problem is important because if you don't trust the way that they deal with conflict, you know, that's that's where like that, you know, I, I can take feedback all day and I can listen to anybody give me feedback. I don't have to respect them for me to take feedback from people. However, I will not ask everybody for advice about how to figure out a problem that I'm involved in because I need to trust that person and how they deal with problems in their own life in order for me to trust that their opinion is going to be not, not only different than mine typically, but, positive. But, but positive and also not going to cause me more conflict. Yeah. You know, so. And be kind. Yeah, and, I, and Lucas, I would say, and like obviously Lucas has known me for a long time. I do think that Lucas came into my life because I think that I needed a softer approach with life, to be honest. I think that I was like, I had a chip on my shoulder, like with college. And I had like this like weird entitlement shit. And he kind of came in and was like, you know, I don't think he really, he never said like, Miranda, you're like, you act this way. It was never that. It was more so just, I saw his like, his mannerisms and like, he used to let everybody borrow his car in college. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Then, you know, da, da, da. And then like, he's I feel so like, nice. And then, no, he's kind. He's not nice. He's kind. I'm not nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kind. And uh, I would say not like now looking back, like, I feel like I would do that now, regard like regardless. Like, I don't really care. I let, well, you got to understand, I don't let everyone borrow my car. I had a oh. select, I had three <laughs> yeah. guys that I, I trusted mm -hmm. 
that I knew like they were going to if I needed something, they would have my back also. Yeah. And I still talk to a couple of them And today. I think I actually envied, I envied the relationships that you had and, like, that you were able to, like, maintain in college because mine were always at, like, an influx and I never really know, like, and I'm like, is this person my friend? And, you know, I spent too much time, I think, caring about people who were my friends that I, I just, I didn't really have people, like, in my life like that. And I think that you did and I didn't. Well, I think it also came down to, like, I knew that the guys on my team couldn't, didn't come from the privilege I came from in the situation yeah. where like I had a car and they didn't. Yeah. So for me, it was more about I knew I could help them out and do something good for them. Yeah. So that was like something cool for me too. But like you had that perspective and like that wasn't my initial perspective. My initial perspective was if my car is damaged, my mom's going to kill me. You know, that was like more of it because like she used to always like drill me with like the consequences and she, you know, I would say before I got to college, she'd say, you know, Miranda, you're gonna be all on your own here. You know, if you make a mistake, this is all on you. You know, I can't I can't come and solve your problems for you. So I think that like that perspective of like hearing her in my head and then like watching how you like I would say effortlessly was just you were so kind to people that sometimes in my opinion didn't really I didn't really feel like that they deserved it. However, now learning about kindness and what it actually is, it's not about what that person can do for you in return. It's that every single time you're you're in a in a situation and you know, that person on the other side is, is really not kind to you or in, is not as kind, you know, to you as you are them. When you're kind, you're not thinking about how that person is going to treat you in return. You're just always choosing to be kinder anyways. And I think that that's... It's not about what they do for you. It's, it's about, about what you do for them and why you're doing it. I'm not expecting anything in yeah, return. It's the, and that's the difference between, again, like, I feel like we talk about this like every YouTube video, but it's like nice people expect and kind people give. And I think that that's, that's the difference between, like, I feel like those two words. And, um, I don't know, I'm actually going to ask you a question because, like, this is, like, your last day. She'll be back, like, soon. But for I was going to ask you a question. Okay. Why are two, we the same? We have two questions. Okay, <laughs> oh, wait. Shit, okay. Let's go. Miranda, you go you're, first. you're, okay, your mom's first. Am I nice or am I kind? That's, that's a stupid question. Do you no, that's not a stupid question. Answer it. No, she, you're kind. Thank you. Yeah, but that, you already knew that. I feel like you asked me a question that you knew the answer to. I wanted to see what you would say. What, would you really sit here and say that I thought you were nice? <laughs> I don't know. You would, <laughs> she would tell me. She was hoping not. No, yeah, but no. I'm just making sure. But ask me like a different question. I feel like that's yeah. um, something more deep. I'm a deep person, mom, and I want my intellect to show. Okay. Ask you. Okay, you can think on it. I'll ask you a question. Okay. Um, if you had to tell, I would say me, YouTube, and Lucas sitting here, what would you say? Um, well, it's a two-part question. What would you say has been the most exciting thing to watch about me in the last like couple years? And if you had to pick one thing that you're proud of me for, what would you say that that is as of today? Um, it's a loaded question. I know. And so the first question is more so based on like the overall... Ask me the first question again because now I'm still thinking about the other question. <laughs> Um, like, where do, I don't know, I, I forget how I worded it as. I think I said, like, where do, where do you think that I've grown the most or something? Or, like, what do you, Um. Or, like... I think that you're... I'm different? Oh. I mean, I guess there's a word tenacity. I think your perseverance. I think your... Yeah. Um, your drive, your work ethic. Um, you know, it's all-encompassing because... You left Michigan and went to a total unknown. Yeah. But before you did that, you created something out of nothing. With you know, Lucas. With Lucas. We and, got bullied for it. And, you know, it, it, your self-starter, your self-awareness um, and your your drive. You know, you created a business out of nothing. You, you know, you left a secure situation with school to, you know, for that to... You know, you pursued your dreams, and a lot of people don't know what their their goals and their dreams are, and you encompassed it early, and you said, you know, don't question you, don't do this, don't do that, and that was very hard, and, you know, you ran with it, and you moved out of Michigan, which was like, wow, you know? Yeah. And it was, honestly, it was hard, I would say, like, and it, 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 even today, as, as you know, it, it's still hard to, you know, it's... We struggle now at a different level, and this is actually why I want to have like my speaking event. And I, when you come, I want to actually like kind of like throw some ideas out there with that. But it's more so I think when you become successful, 
everyone sees, you know, the Instagram posts and everyone sees, you know, that, that outside effect of like, you know, the, the nice outfit and like all this stuff and like that stuff's great, you know, but behind closed doors, like I really struggle and I, I struggle more so now because this is the most attention I've ever had. This is the most eyes I've ever had on me. This is the most pressure I've ever been under. And not only is the pressure on myself, but now it's the pressure of every brand I'm with showing up, you know, my feelings don't matter, doing the, doing the right thing all the time, also defending myself and having respect for myself so that other people can respect me more. That's also hard because, you know, obviously you know that my personality sometimes is misconstrued to the people that choose not to understand or cannot mentally comprehend who I am as a person because it's too much for their existence. Uh, you know, these things are, are hard for me. And it's like, I've been wanting to obviously build a team and, and, and do those things. Cause I, again, I, I need help. I mean, how many times do I tell you I need help? I, I face sometimes so much humility, taking risks all the time. And I think sometimes people like looking into my life don't really know, you know, me. And I think that the people that don't know me give the most opinion and you two really are the only ones right now that, that know me to my core. People experience me and they experience me in circumstantial environments. But I would say you guys both have been in my life consistently. I mean, Lucas has been in my life consistently for over eight years. You've known me my whole life. These two right here, the, the, you guys know me more than other people could ever. And so I would say with that, you know, it, it's hard sometimes for me to always deal with all these challenges with people over here because, you know, you guys don't see me that way. Right. But the world might, you know, see me differently. I think also it comes down to we worked really hard to get here. And like we kind of talk about that, like we grinded, but it's like no one really told us the more successful you get, like the harder you have to work. So all that hard work you put in now, it's like we have to do more because yeah. if we do the same hard work. We're in the same spot that we were last year. Yeah. That's and true. like that's the crazy part is, is like we continue to put in this crazy amount of work and have this work mm -hmm. ethic. And we weren't really ready for like, oh, like we're going to have to sacrifice every part of our being yeah. to do this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And to do this in a way that no one else can. Yeah. At a level no one else but can. But the reward is is doing what you love and helping others. Yes. And spreading the word and spreading kindness. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And it's cool that I think one thing we've been working on a lot is like enjoying the journey and process more instead of just focusing on like where we're heading. Yeah. We've talked about it a couple of times where it's yeah. like we, we have to enjoy the moments in the process of what we're doing mm -hmm. and like traveling. Because mm -hmm. we're just focused on the end result and what we're doing, it's we're gonna be miserable for sure. I mean, especially it, when you're not getting sleep and you're doing a lot of work, it's like mm -hmm. if you don't take moments to like experience joy mm -hmm. in what you're trying to achieve, yeah, or what you are achieving in the moment, you're yeah. not going to be a very happy person. Yeah, I agree with that. And like you know, I, I would say I, I've wanted to do more stuff with you, even like more trips and like you know, but it's. I, I know I know that one day like I am gonna be worth a lot of money. I know that Lucas is, is going to too, and it's I don't say that as in I'm searching for myself for that dollar sign. Is like you know I actually told you the other day I, I walked into the uh, the alterations place or whatever, and I was like, God, I want to write them a check. And it's not because they asked me, or it's not because they even think that I would even think that. It's it's more so like I just sometimes I don't know if this is just like me growing up or like me being an adult and like wanting to be kind, but like sometimes I just I see situations now and I'm like, God, I would love to contribute to that. I would love to be, you know. You want to give back. Yeah. You want to help people who are kind. Yeah. And I and I will always give more to people that don't ask of me. And that will be, you know, those people will always get more payout from me than people that want to, like, nickel and dime me and, and, and take, honestly, everything that I've worked for and just kind of take it for tangible dollar signs. And, uh, you know, and I know that, too, like, this journey for me has not been easy. It's also not been easy for you. You know, I had student loans I had to pay back. I, you know was in your home uh, living there and trying to be I don't know on Instagram and trying to like do all this stuff and it was hard because you know nobody really guided anything that we did I mean it was like we had to always learn from trial and error as everybody it seems like in Michigan you know like when they start a business everyone gets helped you know whether they get funded the money at first whether you know a lot of the family members are involved in it like we didn't have that and like you know it's kind of like we were seen as a joke starting this you know, I don't think people laugh now, and that's not my point. It's more so just, I mean, we've really struggled. I mean, we really struggled to do this all. And, and I think that people from the outside looking in don't really realize that. But, you know, this has been extremely hard. I mean, it gets harder. You know, it gets harder to grow, actually. 
And, uh, you know, like I, I need more help. Um, I need more, I, I need a lot. I feel like I say this every, almost every YouTube video, but you know, there's so many things I want to do and it's, it sometimes gets hard because it's like, you know, that I don't have money coming out everywhere. It's like, I, you know, everything has to be sometimes budgeted and this and that. And, you know, sometimes expenses come up and then, you know, things cost more money than planned and, and, and it's a last minute thing. And then I got to make sacrifices and, you know, I, I go through a lot financially to make this all be what it is and it's still not really what it needs to be. So, um, but yeah, so I think the other part of the question was, um, cause that was only one part. The other part of the question I want to ask you was, um, I don't know, what did I say? Who knows? Okay. I'll just think of a question really quickly. I can say, um, I mean, I think you answered, you said the What's problem. something positive you can take away from this trip that you enjoyed with Miranda? Yeah, that's good. That's a good question. Um, it was the interactions with everybody, the um, the level of maturity, the um, just the whole encompassing thing to be on a set and to watch the whole thing evolve and know that you've worked that hard and just see it come around and you know you are the example that you if you put your mind to something that you can do it and yeah you know you are out there you know you I mean you represent a lot of things but you out in the public represent me so then when I look at you I go wow you know look at what she is today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know and that that's a good feeling well thank you I also think it's cool to uh and it's watch cool you do what you do in a way that's natural yeah and like you you just you you know how to own the moment and to like be be there and like i don't know the word i'm looking for you just do very good at what you do and when you're doing it and it's fun to watch oh well, thank you so. i'd say i've had to learn to like uh you know i'd say you taught me with that with like personalities like I've never been, I mean, I, I might have been shy like as a, an only child, but I would say I, I'm, I'm pretty confident in the fact that I can walk into a place and I can kind of feel someone out and I will do my best to make that person feel really good. And it's not really about the way that they make me feel because I'm the kindest thing. It's more so like if I have a moment right now to make an impression, you know, I'm going to make sure that that person can walk away and go, you know, I don't, you know, I don't really know much about her, but like, you know, she really was like, you know, she really did say a lot of nice stuff about me. And it's like, you know, that's the point is like we all are never going to like everybody and that's okay. Like we are not supposed to be everybody's friend. You know, it's like, you know, when you're a friend to everyone, you're a friend to none. That's like the saying for a reason. But, and, you know, but everybody brings something to the table. They're, right. You know, everybody, everybody has an element of insecurities or, mm -hmm. or, you know, and everybody has really cool things about them. And, you know, sometimes they have cool things about them that they don't even know. So to receive a compliment or kindness, mm -hmm. you know, you can make or break somebody's day or you can make or break somebody's life, you know? Yeah. I mean, the power of words and the power of positivity and stuff like that, you know, it, it can change a person. Yeah. Just that interest. Yeah. And, you know, I've always said that everybody that I encounter is a very interesting person. You know, it's more than just, hi, bye, you know, I'm here to do this transaction. It's not that. It's like, who are you? Like, what's behind all that? You know, because you can just learn so much, and it's like the people are like an encyclopedia of the world. Yeah. You know, and it's if if you embrace that, then they're more than it's more than just a simple transaction. It's deep. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a very deep person, so. But yeah, I, I would say um, one thing I actually I would say I took from you a lot is like I, no matter how sometimes people make me feel in a moment, I try to always, I would say, and, and maybe sometimes people would take it as overcompensating, but that's actually not. I actually sometimes think that think that people's personality needs more validation than mine per se and I'm okay to not have it because I understand that sometimes people need it more than me and I would say I am okay to humiliate myself or to embarrass myself uh, to people I would say it's not humiliate it's humble yourself because right but I'm saying I say things that are normal people would never share you know like I say things that like it's it's they're very personal to me and I do that not in a way for like people to do it in return I more so do it as you know, if you think that I am this way, you know, uh, I'm not perfect too. And, you know, I did walk around in the airplane with blotches all over my face. And it was, I mean, I actually went to the bathroom. I, I did a light scream. I was like, oh my God, this is how I look today. Because the tan got worse. It got darker as I was in the plane. 
you know. Yeah, you kind of looked a mess yesterday. Uh, yeah, I definitely did. Um, but like, that's scary. <laughs> but it's more so like normal people would never get on a plane like that. And like, I don't care, you know, it's, it's like stuff like that where I feel like sometimes. Well, you look a thousand percent different well, today. Well, thank you. Than you I was sure hope so. I was just a little worried. Yeah. But uh, anyways, <laughs> it's, it's more so like I'm always going to be willing to give more to people, even when I'm stressed out and overwhelmed in a moment. Because I understand that that's like my that's my due diligence and duty of a person. That's the 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 pressure of elevating, and that's the pressure of if I want to be the leader that I know I can be. That's one of the things that I know I have to do, and I have to do it really well. And I think that you do that. Thank you. Yeah. So um, we're gonna wrap this up, but we're going to the gym. We're we're doing a workout, mom. Don't walk. Look here. Watch. Well, it's ten o'clock. You know. Bedtime, and you know what time it is in Michigan? Twelve. It's midnight. It's okay. No one cares. We, we They're just going to keep me up all night again. Yeah, probably. We are. go to the gym and do things at all hours of the night. So this is actually early for us. So this, this is the groove. Yeah. This, this is the, the Let's go get room. our groove on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.